you want to know the difference between a chip shot and a pitch shot? Having difficulty selecting the correct shot choice around the green? Hey, this is Sean McTernan and you're watching another episode of My Golf Tutor, the number one place on the internet for you to improve your game the fastest. Welcome back. And today's question comes from Dan. Dan writes, Hey Sean, I have a lot of difficulty deciding the correct shot to play around the greens. Sometimes I don't know if I should be playing a pitch shot or a chip shot. Have you any advice? Dan, thanks very much for your question. I think the first thing that we need to define is what is a chip shot and what is a pitch shot. I would consider a pitch shot to be a high shot, a shot that you would throw two thirds of the way and release the last third. A chip shot would be a shot that's played lower and closer to the ground. So it would uh, land probably a third of the way and release the other two thirds. Now a big part of deciding what shot to play, the first thing is going to be the lie. Typically when hitting pitch shots or chip shots, you do want the first bounce of the ball to be on the green, if at all possible. There are occasions where it's you know impossible to happen and so be it. But typically in order to get a good consistent release, you want that first bounce of the ball to be on the green. The second thing you're going to have to take into consideration is what you have to hit over. As you can see here, I probably have fairway halfway between me and the pin. I'm going to have to hit a higher shot here because I want that first bounce to be on the green and then I want it to release up to the hole. If I was to hit a lower shot or a chip shot here, I'd be bouncing it into the fairway and I can't really predict accurately how the ball is going to release. I have a better chance of being able to predict how it will release when it gets onto the green. So here we have a 30 yard pitch shot. I probably have maybe 17, 18 yards of fairway to hit over and then the pin is on probably another 15 yards. So let's go ahead, I'm going to hit a pitch shot here, it's going to come out a little high, I'm going to try and bounce it a, thir a two thirds of the way and release the final third. So Dan, we just talked about a pitch shot, as you can see, I landed it about two thirds of the way and it released the final third. Here we are in a situation where we are very close to the fringe, but we're just far enough off that we can't put it because there's too much grass on the fairway. So I'm gonna play a chip shot, which is gonna be a little lower to the ground. I'm gonna try and bump it a third of the way and let it release two thirds of the way. I'm gonna play this with a seven iron or you can use an eight iron. I think from a course management standpoint, you always want to play it with the least loft possible, but you still want that first bounce to be on the green. The beauty of this shot is, is that if you miss strike it a little bit or don't quite hit it how you want, it's still going to release and get up closer to the pin than what, say, if you used a, a sand wedge or a lob wedge and you miss struck that. So this is the percentage shot. And like I said, when you have an opportunity to get that ball low to the ground and get it releasing, try and do it every time. So for this shot, I'm gonna stand a little closer to the ball. My feet are going to be a little narrower, a little narrower stance. And there's gonna be, a, it's gonna be more like a putter, more like a putting stroke. The shaft is gonna be a little bit steeper, just like a putter. I hope that video helps and if you or anyone else has a question about your golf game please leave a comment in the comment section below and finally don't forget to go to mygolftutor.com and sign up for our email newsletter where i give my best tips and information